What's your success rate in terms of like couples that have been to your therapy sessions and have gone on to get married? Babe, 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 she didn't, she didn't answer the question. What's your success rate? I need percentages. I deal with figures. Let's, let's, I'm let's... afraid I don't work in figures. I work in people. Tell him, sis. Tell him, sis. I don't work in figures. I work in people. Look at this man thinks everything is about the transaction and high network clients and business and all of that. Like. and welcome back to my youtube channel if you are new on this channel thank you for coming by i hope this will not be your last visit to my page um and i hope at the end of this video i'll give you a reason to click on the subscribe button and to my returning subscribers thank you for sticking around thank you for watching my videos thank you for the love i appreciate you guys so today's video is an exciting one so recently i just bumped into this show blue therapy um before now i've been hearing about it but i have never like actually like gone to youtube to watch it or anything i just actually bumped into this and i was like you know what let me just give it a try and so i clicked on episode one and started watching <laughs> and you won't believe that i actually watched everything in one night it was that interesting Trust me, guys, if you don't watch Blue Therapy, you better go and watch it because you are missing this entertainment. And for the it's fake people, please leave us alone. Let us enjoy ourselves. We want to be entertained and this is pure entertainment. So if you feel like it's fake and all of that, that's up to you, okay? <laughs> Fight your demons. <laughs> but for me, I am getting so entertained. And so I decided to do a reaction video and so that's what today's video is going to be all about i'm going to be reacting to episode one of blue therapy so i'm going to be um watching this on my laptop and reacting so yes so let's begin Myself and my boyfriend have been going through a lot lately. Um, this is the last leg for us. We're really, really hanging in in our relationship. I've seen an opportunity for a social experiment, and I think that it's best we both come here and get some help. You made me want to know. I've been with my partner for three years now. Just like everyone else, we've had our ups and downs. You know, things happen. But coming to therapy with a camera for some social experiment, that's just... It's a red flag, to be fair. And now, like, she knows my perspective on this. I prefer we go to a church. You know, us getting to this extent where we're actually here for a social experiment, it's just, it doesn't make sense. I think it's going to go south. Like, I'm 90% sure, but at the end of the day, I'll just say, look, I told you so. Hello. Hi, Denise. Come in, sit down. Hello, Paul. How is the traffic? Terrible. Oh, but we're it? here. Oh. We made it. My name's Denise and I'm your therapist today. Have you ever been to therapy before? Never. We've never been. I did go online. I read how important it is about, you know, um, having premarital therapy, counselling. And I do believe myself and Paul um, are in dire need of some help. I wouldn't say we've deteriorated to a point of no return, but at the end of the day, we are... We're progressing in our relationship, and I'm not entirely happy. Okay. So, Paul, um, thank you for joining us. Have you got any idea of what expectations you are looking to to get out of this, this therapy session? I literally, I have no idea. I'm curious to find out. Okay, that's great. Well, it's great that you're here. So, uh, shall we start? So, of course, this isn't my first time on camera. I'm very comfortable in front of camera. Um, I understand Paul isn't. I didn't bring him here to embarrass him, though. This is kind of like shock therapy. It might shock him into kind of seeing that we need help, that we've actually got problems within our relationship. I'm going to ask Jeremy to just start us off. Um, what would you like to start off with? Um... I, okay, I want to... I, I love you. You do know that, right? Okay. <laughs> the face is like, 
Okay. <laughs> oh my God. And I feel as though we are, we've got different um, views of life. So to me, Paul is very image. He puts too much emphasis on how people perceive us as a couple, um, how he's perceived as an individual and how I'm perceived as an individual. Currently in our relationship, we're doing a lot of patching instead of really like fixing mm. the issues. Okay, Paul, do you feel the same way? I'm literally blown away. Like I haven't even heard this before. What, what, what's, do you want to give more context to what you're actually saying? Because I'm, I'm a tiny bit... Okay. Confused. Paul, for example, has a lot of friends. He has affluent friends. He feels like he has to fit in, which he... He might fit in as friendship, but when it comes to finances, he doesn't necessarily fit in. So if we're looking at percentage-wise and when they go out and what they spend, they can afford it. We can't. But Paul will do it anyway. And then he'll spend the next week or two chasing the bag he's blown... Um, which now leaves me in a deficit of love, so there's neglect going on in our household. All right, so we literally just got here, like, we haven't been here for five minutes. <laughs> Thomas talking about finance to the bloody Denise, someone that we don't even know. Now, first of all, there is no man that's out there with multiple accounts, crypto accounts, high interest accounts, that's gonna sit down and show his girl his balance, so she doesn't even know the financial situation first. <laughs> Okay, I feel like that's the issue, you know? Come on, this is someone you've been with. Like, this is someone you're dating. And you were saying there's no need for her. She, like, she doesn't know the financial situation. That's the, that's the reason why you weren't therapy in the first place. <laughs> because make her understand. If she doesn't know the financial situation, definitely she's going to complain. So why are you being so upset about her complaining when she does not know the financial situation and you refuse to tell her about it and now you're complaining guy please calm down just let paul um speak regarding the image and the going out and uh, you know chasing the bag you know it's interesting i i actually think she's right but let, let, let me break it down for you i'm happy and i'm humble enough to be the brokest man in a room full of millionaires. Do you know why? Okay. Do you know who would have the most to benefit in that type of situation? You would. So that's practically how I've been able to exponentially grow my income, basically. He's taken the whole fake it till you make it to another extent. Because at the end of the day, I'm not naive to know that you are treated how you're perceived. However, be yourself. Um, with the whole spending above your means, should I say, yes, we can afford it. I'm not saying we can't, because he's the first person to speak about finances, and we need to save, and we need to do this, and we need to do that. But as much as, yeah, I purchase nice things, Paul does a lot of the spending. And in the past, we've had situations where he's invested, and there's been no returns. So I don't feel like I need to suffer at the expense of his investing and putting himself in positions to get deals when... Not all the time it works out. And I, we are, we're together. We're not business partners. Mm. So I, I'm suffering for nothing. Mm. Do you feel that it's an equal situation? She's, she just said she's suffering for nothing. Fuck. Okay, so that's, that's the only thing he got from all that she said. From all that she said, all he got was... <laughs> she just said she's suffering for nothing. <laughs> Oh my god, can someone open this guy's head and just put sense in it? Because clearly, the brother is lacking some. That's not what I said. It's like you, your comprehension. This is why we're here. Because anytime I bring up at home, he dismisses it. Really? Okay, you're, you're not comprehending what I'm okay, saying. Okay, okay. I've lost, just literally just explained yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, look. Out of everything I said, you've got that bit. Like, Paul's. He takes what he wants to take, he hears what he wants to hear, and he sees what he wants to see. Because it's gambling, if you ask me. It's casino, isn't it? So the, the clubs you guys are going to and the money you're spending, some of it is gambling, all right? Because everything he's, he likes to say is constructive. Clubbing is not constructive. It's not beneficial to um, our relationship or to, to him. Even places like that, he places too much emphasis on how they look at him. So you're out here doing the most, buying so many bottles, paying 10K for tables, and it doesn't make sense. I'm at home being neglected. When he comes home, he goes back to work. So my point is, you're putting too much emphasis on the way they see you. Mm -hmm. Why is that? You're trying to, you, you're supposed to be impressing me, not them. So the type of people that... 
so no woman likes this of course nobody likes this no one wants her man going out all day and then when it's time for you to come back home you're still coming back to work definitely she's gonna feel neglected like what do you expect let's hear what he has to say with they're on another level to be fair they're high net worth and they work really hard for themselves now for me to be able to kind of be that act of service for them you can imagine how hard i have to work if they're calling you you need to answer if they're sending you a message whether it's a text or whatsapp listen you need to be on point i'm able to give them that service okay so in other words they're more important than her or come on no one is saying you should not work no one is saying you should not attend to your high network clients but come on the babe just needs time give her what she wants and stop all the blabbing i'm on my way for this social experiment i'm quite excited um i'm happy that jamel is using this initiative and wants us to be part of this there's a few things that i do want to get off my chest so it'll be nice to speak to jamel speak to the therapist and i'm excited deborah did you travel far I didn't actually. I live in um, Highbury and Islington, so it was not too bad of a journey. Just about 20 minutes. Oh, that's good. So my partner's running late. I apologise. Whose idea to come to the session was it? Uh, it was Jamel's idea, but um, I'm open to it. I'm excited. Um, you know, I want to see where we can take our relationship because we are, you know, we've been together a year now. So see, I don't actually understand how Jamel is late. He's the one that has brought me to this whole thing and you're late. I'm sitting here. I don't know the lady. I look very stupid. And Jamel is late. Here he is. So I'm late. Was the traffic bad? Um, sort of, yeah. Well, you're here now, so that's all that matters. Can I just start by asking you what brought you here and, and how long have you been together? Do you want to take that? No, ladies first. We've actually been together for a year. Um, I met Jamel at one of his fitness events. So my sister also does fitness, so they were doing a class together. And then we met, we started talking, and then we now we're here yeah. for so he um has had therapy before and he thought it was really good and helpful so i feel like that's why i'm open to doing it we, there's a lot that we need to work on an example of today is jamal's lateness i work at 95 he does fitness so our time to tables already clash but whenever we plan to go on like date nights or we go to church together um every two weeks he's always late when i address him he's unable to communicate and explain like why he's late or give me a heads up for being late so yeah that's that's a problem for me i feel like he's always late when it comes to something that we're okay no one likes a guy who's always late come on what's what are you doing what exactly are you doing i feel like he respects my time i don't think jamal has ever been late to a client's zoom meeting but why is it when it's deborah time he's late my time management is not the issue i feel like it's more down to communication there's been several times Did you communicate that you're going to be late of course what about last week when you're supposed to come to my house yes we changed the time before then so denise this is the situation so um originally the time was for 8 p.m then i realized i double booked of another client so i gave it up yeah that's already an issue we had pre-planned we had pre-planned that we were going to meet up because as a recent we haven't been seeing each other as often because jamal's taken on more clients yeah that's not a problem but we had pre-agreed that we were going to see each other on this particular day why are you double booking things happen like i do have clients across the pond can um, i just ask a question when you are going to be late do you communicate that do you let her know no. yes i do no you don't okay so the last time we invited me to have dinner i communicated with you he told me five minutes before the time that he's going to be late <laughs> deborah just always complained about me being late like she just does feel like she's been controlling like she doesn't take consideration of my time, where I'm coming from, what I'm doing before. She just wants to set the time and expects me to get there. They ain't gonna run. Just for the record, how would you like him to change? I... But really, like truly speaking, like you would, you know, you're gonna be late. You have to communicate this to your partner. Like, why wouldn't you? Who wants to be waiting for you? And you, you're telling me you're gonna be late five minutes at a time, and in your mind, you, you told me, like, I'll tell someone you're late like five minutes at a time. You're already late five minutes at a time, and you're not dead. 
I like his drive, and that's kind of why we're together. My point is, there needs to be a balance. I'm happy for you to grind. I'm happy for you to do all the things you do. But again, we're in a relationship. The, the problem with you is you, you think we're business partners. We're not. I need love as well. Do you know what I mean? Like, I've got a business. I work, but I still feed you. I still love on you. But I don't get it. It's not reciprocated. Right, so hang on. Paul, do you feel that you're giving as good as you get in the love um, stakes? Well, to be fair, I thought I did. But now I kind of... I'm thinking to myself, like, does she trust... Do you trust me? Oh, my God. How is this about trust? The babe has just said... You do not give her time. The baby has just said, even with her work pattern and all the work that she does, she gives you time. She's always there. She feeds you and all of that. And the therapist clearly asked, do you think that you give an... And the next thing, do you trust me? My guy, this is just being manipulated. Like, this is just being manipulated. How does that even relate to the question that's being asked here? what yes or no i do trust you okay if you trust me and you trust my judgment and you know that between the both of us we both got ourselves to the position where we are which is a better position than we were in why would you not continue to trust the process because you've eradicated the whole love aspect of our relationship ah. i'm a woman i'm not wood she's not wood <laughs> she's not wood trust the process shoot me this girl just needs attention. She just needs your time. Like, what's so hard? What's so hard about that? Like, how does that relate to trust and trusting the process? Because I am lost. Can I just ask, what's the, the last? The whole world turning each other against each other. When's the last time you bought flowers? Look, forget about all of that. Let's get down to what it is now. Just to, just, just to briefly go over this, right? Um, as far as I understand, You've been called, or employed rather, to basically help us in our relationship to get better, right? Shimmer is like, <laughs> she's trying to just like, if I was, if, if, if the camera was near, I'd probably just squeeze his mouth out. Because how, how, how is it okay to talk to someone like that? Come on, this person is just trying to help you guys and you'll feel so comfortable talking to her like that that's just rude that's no there's no need for that actually like there's no need to be rude about this so how do you think you're doing so far okay first um, don't be rude i'm no, no, it's, it's a genuine question that's uncalled for. it's a genuine question okay i can answer that shema don't worry the fact is that i'm here to enable you to see through the fog that may be there at the moment I'm not here to give you an answer. I'm just helping you discover what's going on. Okay, okay, okay. What, what's your success rate in terms of, like, couples that have been to your therapy sessions and have gone on to get married? Well, it, I think you've already done your research. I did research and I found out that a lot of people gave you good reviews. Um, a lot of them have actually gone on to get married. A lot of them have resolved their situation. Um, be open-minded. I feel like people get results from you if they're open-minded. Hey, hey, she didn't, she didn't answer the question. What's your success rate? I need percentages. I deal with figures. Let's, let's, I'm let's... afraid I... Okay, this, this, this guy's actually taking the piece, like... I don't work in figures. I work in people. Tell him, sis. Tell him, sis. I don't work in figures. I work in people. Because this man thinks everything is about the transaction and high network clients and business and all of that, like... And when people come back, it's because they're seeing results. So as far as I'm concerned, um, things are working. So if, if we came back it's to your session, that, that means it's business. working. Well, you sign up for a certain number of sessions, and then we discuss whether you need to oh, do... Oh, so there's more than one. <laughs> like, what do you expect? This is a therapy session. It's not just going to be one therapy session. Come on, when someone's... I signed up for therapy it's gonna be you're gonna like have several sessions several meetings you can't trash all this in one session so why is it so surprised that there are other sessions like i don't understand do you feel that you make time for deborah well, certainly i don't think he does um when we first got together we were seeing each other up, up to three times a week now it's like once every two weeks for me 
I don't know if you want to spend time with me or not. Once every two weeks. Come on, you guys are in the same place. It's not like you're in Nigeria and she's in Canada. You guys are in the same place and you're seeing each other twice. Sorry, once every two weeks. <laughs> that's like not saying at all. And to him, that's time. That's that's the time he's giving her. For me, that's like what what is the relationship? I'm gonna see you once every two weeks. Do you get what I mean? I love quality time, and you know that. And at the start of the relationship, that was what was happening. But obviously now there has been a shift. It's very clear that her love language is quality time. And if as a guy you know that your girl's love language is quality time, why not give her quality time? Because if you don't, she's definitely gonna keep talking about it. She's definitely it's it's actually gonna affect your relationship because at the end of the day, that's what she wants. And if she's not getting it, there's a problem. Once every two weeks. And that is what I don't like. Okay. So Paul, just give me a little bit of your background. What what business are you in? Yes. Yeah, answer the question, babe. So what, what does my business have to do with the religion? Just answer the question. What business do you do? Like, this is a normal question. This is something that everyone is definitely going to answer. So ask I just wondered, you know, whether that was influencing the way I'm that you provider. deal with life. What? <laughs> I'm a provider. I'm a survivor. I'm going to make it. I'm a provider, guy. That's all you could say. That's the best you could actually come up with. I'm a provider. Oh my god. Oh. Sorry. I'm a provider. What is it that you do? I don't understand. Just. Well, I, I don't. I don't. I don't see how this is gonna help our relationship. He cannot even say what he does. I'm a provider. Oh Jesus, my provider, help me. For the long term. This. This is the problem that I have. Right. Look, with this Denise lady. I just feel like she's just asking lots of intrusive questions that doesn't really relate to the situation at hand. This lady is a therapist. She needs to know where your problem is coming from. That is her job. That's what she's meant to do. Is she going to be asking you, like, I don't know. I don't know what he expects a therapist to ask. I mean, what do I do? Like, I make money. That's what I do. Like, it's a silly... How do you make money? That's the question. What do you want from me? Do you understand? You're here for a certain purpose to help with the relationship. Do that. If you can't do that, then you're not of use for me. The, the whole point is she's here, right? And I got her here. We've been together for three years. You got me here? No, well, not here okay. specifically, but I mean, you know, in terms of the journey, we've been together for a long time. I've managed to sustain our relationship um, financially, if that's the question you're asking. No, I wasn't. I was simply wondering mm -hmm. uh, what motivated you and how you work together. Without telling you too much, um, I literally work with high net worth individuals. High net worth individuals. That's all we keep hearing, high net worth individuals. Um, influencers, celebrities, you name it, provide them with basically um, nutrition as well as fitness. Um, I also run an IT business, which, um, you know, I work with potentially... Well, really influences brands yeah more of that she's like guy calm down you're lying <laughs> scale basically so you're a very busy man i am even if there's nothing to do paul will tell his friends he's doing oh I'm, i've just done some no you haven't like chill relax like you're not busy 24 7 even the busiest person has time paul and do you do anything together any you know hobbies that you do together Aside from on our laptops in the same room, maybe. When we started dating, we used to like the same music. He was more fun. Now he's, I don't, I don't even know who's sitting next to me, to be honest. And how do you feel? I think that's BS. It's BS. Look, music. I'm a Burner Boy fan. You, you, you used to be, but now. I still more like Burner Boy. Whiz kid. Like, that doesn't make sense. If you, if you like something, just stick to, you know. Uh, okay, okay, I don't know how to react to this. <gasps> okay, you like Bonner Boy, and she used to like Bonner Boy, and if you like something, just stick with Oh my god. Does that mean this girl cannot like who she wants to like? Okay, she used to like Bonner Boy, but now she likes somebody else. What's the problem? First of all, you've changed, babe. You, you, you didn't like what you liked five years ago. I know that because of the food, simply the food that you eat. 
okay? So people change. I still like Burner Boy, but I, yes, I prefer Wizkid. It doesn't mean that it has to be your way. This is a problem with you, like, if it's not your way, it's the highway. No, this is the problem with you. You don't keep the same energy. Okay, I feel like these two people, they are not compatible. They are clearly not compatible because if in a couple, like, okay, between a couple, this person is fire, this other person has to be water because if this person is going, blah, 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 blah this one is to, like, do you get? <laughs> because this one is saying, this one is talking, this one is talking, there is going to be a lot of problem. Like, this is, this is clearly what this, like, this is clearly their problem. They are both fire, 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 fire. So, no one is calming anyone down. The guy has an answer to practically everything. Have they answered the question she asked us? What do we do together, aside from work, that, that is meaningful? Is that what you said? Let me tell you what we do, right? Every uh, 28 days, we have a couple's review, right? Oh. <laughs> this guy never ceases to amaze me. Like, I'm amazed at your... You do a couple's review. That's the thing you do together. A couple's review. So what happened to going out? What happened to seeing a movie together? What happens to going on a date? What, what happens to spending time together? So in his mind, the couple's review is actually the time. Like it's, it's something that they do together. They sit down and... So how the help. couple's review works is we basically, you know, go over um, our individual and um, collective plans, goals, targets, and we kind of, you know, check make like a checkbox type of situation and we mark stuff off um, help each other out with whatever it is that we need help with and it's it's worked basically in our relationship it hasn't worked so as we said before uh, obviously nine to five fitness guy yeah okay well fitness instructor brand manager because he hates when i don't say it properly all of that so i have meetings all day and so sometimes when jamel messages me i can't message him back as soon as so his timetable i'll say it's more flexible than mine i would message jamel um and then he would message me back and then you know i wouldn't respond in another two hours and i know this guy's on his phone like i literally saw him on instagram but because i had taken ages because i was busy to message him he would basically be matching my messages and take another two hours to message me that is so childish that is very is that not childish sorry i'm being childish is that not childish? Do you or wait, do you not match my You're assuming that I do that. Oh, wait, hold on. Did I not see you on Instagram earlier that day that I messaged you? I double texted wait, you and a... said, sorry, did you not see my message? Did I not? Yeah, so that means you're monitoring my Instagram. No, that... Oh, my God. This one has this one has a problem. This one, too, has a problem. If Max's mum was uh, doing something, Mick, yeah, listen, 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 it, gonna... he would just admit it's not that serious. We're not going to do comparisons. Max's boyfriend, we speak a lot, as you know. Wait, me and Max speak a lot, isn't it? Like, she told me that when she addresses a situation, he's able to acknowledge it and he just moves oh, on. No. Do you get what I mean? Oh, no. This is... This is actually ridiculous. This is actually wrong. The last thing you want to do to any guy is to compare them to you, any guy. <laughs> the last thing you want to do to your man is to compare him to someone else. And the person she's even comparing that guy to is her friend's boyfriend. Girl. No, no, no. That's a wrong move. It doesn't help. No, no guy likes being compared. Men have this ego thing, this ego thing. And the last thing you want to do is make them feel less of a man because you doing that already puts him in a position where he feels like you do not respect him, and that is not a good thing to do. Like, do not compare your man to anybody else. Care less about your boy, your friend's boyfriend. This, this, and that. Probably well, where maybe you should chat to him a bit more. How about this? Yeah, don't compare me. Like, I've had enough of your conversation with your, your friends, talking about our sex life, our family life, this, this, this. You need to stop now. Deborah does this thing that I actually hate. Like, she loves comparing me to other people, other guys. Like, no one likes getting compared to other people. Like, what would you do? I've had this conversation enough times. Honestly, it just needs to stop. It pisses me off so much, like. Is this um, quite an influential person in your life? Do, do they influence you? This friend yeah, you're Max is my best friend. So we speak a lot about our relationship. I'd, I'm an open person, like, I'm bit, happy to... Open. I'm happy to speak about our sex life. I'm happy to speak about... Oh, my God. Girl, like... It's one thing to talk with your best friend about your relationship, you know, just the, just the overview, just an overview of your relationship, but not going so deep into it. Let's even say you do that. Why does he have to know that you tell your girl, your girlfriend 
every single thing that happens in your relationship. He doesn't need to know that. He doesn't need to know that. Things that we do, like, I I'm happy. And how does that make you feel, knowing that she's talking to this friend of hers? It just sounds like my girlfriend's a chatty patty. I don't like girls that just be speaking too, too much. Like, I hear she's your friend, but when it comes to situations, that's... Fine, you can, you can talk to your friend about what's going on in your relationship, but there should be a limit, okay? There should be some things you just shush your mouth about, because... Come on, not not every friend is actually happy for you. And even when you like think, oh, I'm talking to my friend about it, she could she could actually be laughing at you at the back. She could actually be laughing about it at the back. And you do not actually know who she's gonna tell about this same story. So before you know it, your story is around the world. Zip it, zip it. I literally do not see an issue with telling my best friend about my relationship. Like, it's what girls do, it's what we do, it's how we like. Speak for yourself, sis. Speak for yourself. Well, before you got involved with Shoma, how did you run your household? Well, obviously, everything was self um, sustainable, self managed. Mm. However, at the end of the day, I think the question that you should be asking Choma is if she is getting into a relationship with a person like myself, I don't want to say bring it to the table, but... What am I bringing to the table? No, 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 I'm not saying that you don't bring anything to the table. I'm saying you need to let her know that there's certain things that are expected. Let's not get confused. I work, OK? Paul does not finance me completely. Does that make sense? Yes, he earns significantly more than I do, but he doesn't finance me, all right? So if you're talking about me becoming a housewife, clearly, because you're talking about finances and me what's bringing what's something to the table, what's wrong with being a housewife? Did he just say what's wrong with that? Like, did he just say, my guy, you did not meet this lady as a housewife. You did not meet her as someone who was just there with no dreams, no aspirations. Like, you met this lady um, working. She's, you met her as a working lady. She's trying to get a name for herself. And all of a sudden, you're asking, what's wrong with being a housewife? Okay, these are the kind of men that would actually run you down. These are the kind of men that would actually kill your dreams, kill your visions, kill everything you've ever worked for. That, was that the plan we had when we first met? It's a genuine question. I don't want to be a housewife. There's nothing wrong with it, but I don't want to be a housewife. I have a choice. Does that make sense? If I wanted to be a housewife, I would have become a housewife. That's what you keep pushing for me to do. That's not what I want to do, babe. Okay. Okay? Denise, Denise. He used to clean his own house and change his sheets and cook for himself. We just moved in together six months ago and all of a sudden that has now become my duty and mine alone. Bearing in mind, both of us are busy. Now with myself, I'm an earner. Do you understand? I'm an earner. <sighs> we'll go out and I will come back and I'm bringing the bacon for real. Do you understand? If that's the case and I'm able to provide for the both of us and kids in the future from now, why would she stress herself being out, trying to earn the same thing that I already have. Sit down. Let's figure out something. I would have come home with a check and say, babe, how should we invest this? Oh my God. First of all, from that, this girl is not working because um, she just wants to make money. She's working because she has a dream. She's working because she has what she wants to achieve. She's working because she's hardworking. Now, no one cares if you're bringing money for that's, that's going to be enough for the both of you. This girl wants to be out there. She wants to build a name for herself. So how can you even say she should sit down? You didn't meet her sitting down when you started dating. And all of a sudden, you make enough money for the both of you. And so she should sit down. My guy, that's just being manipulative. He is narcissistic. Girl, you need to leave. You need to leave. Like, you need to leave. Don't be that. It's like... Did you notice that things had changed once Shoma moved in? Um, in terms of how I behave, you became or... lazy. No, 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 no. Let's let's not let's not be toxic, babe. Let's not let's not be toxic, babe. <laughs> and this is coming from who? This is coming from who? If she comes up with a point, you're quick to say, oh, "Yeah, cool." What do you think about it? Okay, why is it being so rude? Is he saying they're actually ganging up against him or something? Because I don't get it. She's trying to find so she's trying to find answers and you're not you you've not been helpful. when you clearly agree with me on something, you're not asking her the same question. Right. What's going so, on? So can I just say, bear with me, the reason I go to you with a question right. is because 
you're not being vocal. Shoma is being very vocal. You're being vocal now, but the reason I was bringing everything back to you was because you weren't being vocal. And it's great to hear that now you have got things to say. He has clearly got things to say. How would you like him to change in the way that he deals with you? What would you like to see different? Okay, um, I would like for Jamal to actually listen to me when I speak, for one. I would like you to take accountability and try and fix the things that I point out, because it's small things, it's very tiny, and I feel like we could move past it if you just accept the fact that sometimes you can be childish, yeah, and sometimes you're late. That's it. Is mm. it <laughs> the way she's so focused on the late part for me, like, this girl probably does not like lateness for me you would respond to with regards to I, I feel like just do not compare me like no one likes being compared how would you like if i compared you to what, one of my best friends well if you were behaving then maybe i wouldn't behaving. be comparing you to other I, people wait, are you my mom there's things that you do that i don't like and i just want to seek advice from my friends and when she told me what her boyfriend's do one thing i would like to point out here is in a relationship do not bring a third party into it you are making a mistake of your life <laughs> at the end of the day you don't know what's really inside your friend's heart. You don't know if she truly means well for you. And if she doesn't, she's going to give you the advice that will break your relationship up. So, no, don't bring anybody into your relationship. You won't have anything to say. Yeah, you can go to a therapist or whatever. It's all your problems. Or go to God. Go to God in prayers. It's even raising the bar even higher really because you can do that too. So your friend has a boyfriend that, that you compare. Do you compare? We're of the same age range. Her boyfriend is about his age as well. There's certain things that he's doing for her, like taking her out weekly, you know, buying her gifts, all these sort of things. I'm going to look at my relationship as well and evaluate it. Why should you base your relationship on how someone else's relationship is? Like, that is totally wrong. Your friend's boyfriend takes her out, does all the nice things for her. That does not give you any right to um, look down on your own relationship because you don't know what this man is going through at that time. He may not have the facilities for it. It's wrong for you to um, look at someone else's relationship and compare it to yours. What I really like about Mansa's boyfriend is that he's proactive. He doesn't have to be told what to do. Okay, at this point, I'm beginning, I'm beginning to think, do you want Max's boyfriend? Like, do you want him? Be careful, sis. Be careful, because this girl is out for your boyfriend. Max wants gifts. He might still wants the meal. He's already on it before she has to say. And Jamal really needs to take a leaf out of his book. Does Jamal ever buy you gifts? Oh, my God. <laughs> Ask her. Um, I mean, at the beginning of the relationship, um, in fact, before we got together, actually, he did what? buy me gifts. What? Um, but now it's definitely dropped. I don't really get much. Um, even like flowers or like chocolate, you know. Is that a problem for you? Yeah, 100%. I love gifts and um, that's just like my love language and Jamal knows that. So at the start of the relationship, me and Jamal went on so many dates. He was treating me like a princess. We were going out on dates, he was buying me gifts. You know, we were spending a lot of quality time together. But now, Jamal is the complete opposite. He's completely fallen off, and it's like he doesn't care. Like, Deborah's love language is a bit confusing sometimes. Me personally, I think it's wishy-washy. Like, one minute it's giving gifts, next minute it's quality time. Like, I understand it could be both of them at the same time, but one thing is always outweighing the other. I don't mind it, but I'd rather, <laughs> like, go towards the quality time right now, obviously because of my personal things I'm... Clearly, like I said, this girl wants gifts. Like, okay, fine. It's, let's, let's just let's just let's just be fair here, okay? This guy's been giving you gifts before, um, and now he's like taking, you know, taking a little bit step backward on giving you gifts. Sis, you need to think. You need to. You need to think ahead. This guy might be going through like a financial crisis and you need to be able to understand that he cannot do that at that time it's definitely not gonna be easy on him so she needs to just take a chill pill okay guys so we've come to the end of this video this was so interesting to do so this this show is just the bomb I, i'm a love it like i don't care who says what they say scripted or not scripted my dears that's that's, <laughs> that's up to you
but i am i totally love um the show like come on if you're not what if you're not watching it yet you need to like you need to see the, the rest of the episodes like it's just it's just amazing so yeah we've come to the end of this video if you want me to do like if you want me to do something else like this again if you want me to continue to actually continue um with the rest of the episodes just let me know in the comment section and i will do that um and if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up um please comment uh, share your thoughts let me know what you think of um deborah and jamal and what you think of um trauma and paul let's see like this course i want you guys to tell me what you feel about these two couples like clearly paul and um paul and trauma um your problem is that the guy just doesn't listen he's toxic he doesn't want to learn and this girl clearly has issues with it and of course he's not listening so i feel that's just a problem now and with jamal and deborah deborah clearly has a lot of issues with jamal being late and all of that but jamal also on the other hand needs to understand that this girl's love language is spending quality time and gifts so this is just what's so this is just an overview of what I feel like this episode one is about. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section. And please, before you go, before you go, wait, 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 before you go, please subscribe to this channel if you haven't. Like if you've gotten to the end, like if you managed to get to the end and you still haven't subscribed, please tell me what are you waiting for. What are you waiting for? Just hit the subscribe button, okay? Because I promise you. You would not regret it okay because more amazing and interesting content are coming your way and also click on the notification buttons so you get notified when i post a new video see you guys in the next one uh, bye if you ain't subscribed you're definitely snoozing bye guys